Shayan Darai. I'm studying aerospace engineering. My project for Brunel engineers was numerical simulation of flows in a supersonic convergent divergent nozzle, as can be seen in this picture. Uh, I used a computational fluid dynamics software to do a numerical simulation of flows in a supersonic convergent divergent nozzle, as I mentioned. And I extracted the data and the flow properties at the nozzle exit, and I studied them during the launch phase of a supersonic convergent divergent nozzle, which was used in a, a supersonic booster, uh, which is used in the space shuttles. And my final goal is to work at European Space Agency. Hello, my name is Mahmoud. Hi, I'm Harini. We're Brunel students, electronic and electrical engineering. We have been entered to Brunel Engineers Plus to do uh, present our group project, which is Thunderbirds Weather Station. Our station is consisting of different sensors that will tell us the temperature, rainfall, humidity, and also light, if it's night and day. We've also got an upgraded version that uses a Raspberry Pi which can connect it remotely. So if you've got an iPad or your phone, if you just access the link, you can access the temperature, humidity, rainfall of that room from any part of the world you're in. Remember, Thunderbirds Weather, weather Station. Station. Hello, my name is Abu Bakr. I am a final year computer systems engineering student at Brunel University. Uh, I'm on a BNG course and um, as my final year project, as part of my dissertation, I've developed a small-scale vertical farm. Um, part of the reason why I've developed this is because, you know, traditional farming methods has a lot of negative impacts on the environment. And a good approach to this is vertical farming. However, larger-scale vertical farms are very expensive to set up, approximately 3,000 pounds per square meter. Um, this aims to be a solution to that cost. This is a very low-cost solution, uh, which is small-scale, which means you could fit it into um, a, a various uh, number of environments, such as supermarkets, warehouses, and lab environments, or even your home, if you so desire. And this entire system only costs approximately 200 pounds to build. Um, the system uses a network of sensors, Internet of Things technology, and embedded systems to monitor the health of your plants, uh, specifically the soil moisture content, um, as well as provide artificial light sources and to circulate water throughout the system. Um, the system all uses, um, it's all powered through a small microprocessor called a Raspberry Pi Pico W, um, which is very low cost, only at about five pounds. Building this project has been particularly enjoy enjoyable for me because it combi uh, combines two of my uh, favorite hobbies, which in this case is botany in terms of taking care of plants and you know, um, gardening, but I'm also a very big fan of electronics. And it's been really interesting to, you know, see the two cross over in this sort of manner. My name is Uma, I'm a final year student at Brunel and the project that I brought to Brunel Engineering today is the Hillingdon Hospital Redevelopment Project, which is the redevelopment of a general healthcare facility in the Hillingdon Borough. My project primarily centers around the utilization of interior layout design to facilitate a fire safe evacuation scenario, whereby I utilize an agent based crowd simulation software to analyze the effectiveness of the structure to facilitate an evacuation. Hi, I'm Kobe. I'm part of a mechanical engineering team of final year students and the project that we're bringing to Bruno Engineers is the battery thermal management system based on a Model S Tesla. As you can see we have a prototype here consisting of a hybrid cooling system. So we have liquid cooling through the cells as well as air cooling on top of the, the casing to provide an overall perfect thermal management system. Hi, my name is Thurston Punaswamy and I'm currently an aerospace engineer in my third, just finished first year, third year and I'm about to enter my master's. In this dissertation, I focus on carbon dioxide during air circulation mode. And in this study, you can see that I can have the data here that shows the temperature, CO2 and, and relative humidity that was measured on this Hobo device here. And the main importance of this research is to increase the awareness of how the alertness of CO2 can be affected by, due to carbon dioxide during air circulation mode. And I, I realized from all this research that high carbon dioxide levels were seen during air circulation mode for a long period of time due to if air circulation mode was off, high carbon dioxide levels were seen greater than when air circulation mode was off. So it, from this study, I based that air circulation mode should be used for short periods of time to increase passengers' comfort, comfortability, passengers' safety, as well as in this research shows 
Genesis Hyundai, Hyundai Genesis model specifically, influence when the carbon dioxide level is above 2,500 ppm parts per million of the CO2, then the windows would go down and allow carbon dioxide to decrease and oxygen to increase, allowing safety for passengers and drivers.